Hey everyone, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about channeling, how a stock channels or trades within a channel when it's impulsing, uh, kind of like what we've been doing within this last week, and also how you can identify that channel uh, within a smaller time frame. Right now I'm looking at a six month daily view and looking at price action currently, it's not so apparent that you can see that prices are actually fitting within a very nice channel. What you want to do is move into a smaller time frame so you'll be able to look at that channel. So what I've done is I narrowed it down to a 30 minute chart, meaning each candlestick right now is 30 minutes. But once again, right, you notice all these indicators on there. It's not so apparent at first. So what I like to do next is take away the study so all you get to look at is just price. Okay, now let's slap on some channels right now. Depending on your drawing tools, uh, let's go ahead and connect the bottom, the support bottom, as well as connecting the top. So you can see just how perfectly well this stock is impulsing within a channel. It rises above, comes back down, and touches the bottom as support. Rises again, touches as resistance, and now it's finding support. But more than anything, I want to show you how uh, you can see the shift in sentiment and also the momentum within the channel itself. What I like to do next is draw a center line right down the middle of this channel. So notice what's going on. Prices have been trading more or less within the mid, upper mid range uh, for a good four days when this market was really taking off. But notice these last couple of days, yesterday and today more specifically, it's now trading underneath the mid level. Okay, so it's telling you that the market is trading really strongly towards the upside here, but it's starting to lose a little bit of steam over here. So when it comes to risk management, I'll be a little more cautious going long, especially if you look on the daily chart, the market's been up for a good seven or so days. So you can even basing on that, you can tell the market's getting a little exhausted, but you can even see it better if you zoom in to a smaller time frame, and especially if it fits within a channel and you notice it's starting to trade within the lower bottom half of the channel. Of course, if this starts to break down underneath this channel, then it tells you that the current uh, strong uptrend has changed. Now, the thing is we don't really know how long this change in trend will last, but all we do know is that well, however we trade it here, meaning that every time I pull back towards the bottom of the channel um, and when we bought the stock or bought whatever uh, bullish trades, it's no, lo it's no longer gonna be working if this breaks out of the channel. So you have to switch your method of trading uh, when it's in the channel and when it's out of the channel.